So can we see some of your boy band dance moves too? Okay, teenage girls yeah. screaming for you. Come on. Oh, whoa, oh. Oh my God. Not my daughter. Hey, it's Fat Tony and this is Thrift Hall, a competitive fashion show where two contestants go toe to toe to see who can style it the best on a budget. Today's episode, boy band. Shout out to the comments for making this one happen. We've got contestant number one, comedian Victor Pope Jr. What's up, y'all? What's good? Contestant number two, Instagrammer Bro Coke. What's up, guys? Can you show us Bro Coke? Hi, everyone. This is Bro Coke. I'm super masculine, straight. Always got a bunch of condoms in my wallet because I'm ready. I'm here to prove to you guys our straight bros can do anything, you know? Very impressive, very straight, not gay at all. Flex to my bros. Contestants will go head to head for three rounds a physical challenge, a competitive shopping spree, and a fashion show. Today we got guest judge, comedian Chris Fleming, helping figure this shit out. Rajneesh, Rajneesh. Sorry, I haven't shaved in a while, so I look like a community organizer right now. I like that, that's hot. Chris, can you tell me what a boy band is? A boy band rose to prominence in the year 1987, and it, they concluded around the year 2004. The post-9-11 world wasn't good to boy bands. In sync, Backstreet Boys, 98 Degrees. O-Town. O-Town! B2K. Oh, B2K. One of the best. The pop and lock. That's a little B2K right there for you. And they would end every video with the lead singer doing like a backflip off of a condo. Do it, do it, do it. There's no it, condo code. It. How am I gonna do a backflip off a condo <laughs> in a goodwill? But that's not all. The winner gets to choose a shitty outfit for the loser. The loser gotta post it to the Instagram and they cannot delete it. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, man. I got a lot of prospects on my Instagram. Y'all got a strategy for this boy band look? I'm thinking of doing a uh, open button up with no undershirt. Boy Meets World style. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they got like a little Vaseline and yeah. I don't know. We gonna see what we can do. Each of you get two minutes on your clock for this shopping spree. But uh, if you want a little extra time, I can work something out. Y'all want this or what? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. I'm about that. Let's get into a physical challenge. You gotta come up with a boy band name. You got 30 seconds to do it. When I say time's up, I need to see a dance move that coordinates with the boy band name you created. You ready for this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about it. Let's do it. Bring the boys. Ready? Set, go! My, Ten. My pen's nine, not working. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pins down. All right, guys. Let's see these boy band names. My boy band's name is Hella Thick. Okay, okay. <laughs> My boy band name is No Grocery. Victor Pope Jr., a.k.a. No Groceries. Can we see the dance moves? Yeah, man, I got you, man. Here you go. It's No Groceries, man. Because that was a fridge. I was like, ain't no groceries in here. And I was like, nah, because it's the fridge right here. I thought you were in the grocery cart. Oh, nah, nah, uh, nah, you just I see, wrong. I yeah. see, I, I see, I yeah. see. Bro Coke, AKA Hella Thick, let's see what you got. I want them to pick me, so this is my pick me dance. Okay, so here goes. Pick me, pick me up. 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 That's bad. It was authentic. No, it's it's like it literally from this another show. Oh, it was plagiarism. That was actually plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what'd you think? Well, I was blown away by different aspects of both. Something that did worry me was Coke did just blatantly admit to plagiarism for his choreography. Now, if he had never said that, I would have never known and thought it was very original. Yeah. I was impressed with Victor's physical theater. He actually went into the fridge. No groceries. No groceries is my pick for that round. I gotta agree. You get 30 seconds added to your clock. Yeah, okay, big, big, big. And as the winner, you get to choose if you want to shop first or if you want to send bro coke out there. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go sick. I'm gonna back up. Okay, back up. Round two, shopping spree. I really have to win because I don't want anyone messed up my Instagram image as a straight bro. It's not like I'm a homophobic or what. I'm just like, I can't afford it. Coke, you're up. You got two minutes on your clock. Grab whatever you need and we'll see how you put your look together later. Remember, you'll be judged on the following. Creativity, adherence to the theme, and overall look. Don't f it up. My bros, I got this. Ready, set, go! <laughs> 
So pants first for sure. Um, oh God, he's already hit the jeans. I'm not a good driver. He smashed his cart directly into the pants. Ah oh, man, I wanted them joints. Uh, this blue one. Coke, 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 Coke. Watch out for the civilian Coke. I'm telling you, I'm really, I'm, I'm a really bad driver. Victor Pope Jr., what do you think about Coke strategy? Seems like he's primarily focused on just running into stuff. There's a lot of innocent women and children out there, and Coke doesn't seem to give a shit. Keep in mind, we're going for the boy band look. Right. I'm seeing more of a Jim Henson theme in his cart right now. Yeah. 40 seconds left. Come on, Coke! Yes! Sound like you said I'm on Coke. Like <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm all set. I don't need extra time. Legs. <laughs> That is He's cocky. He's just doing spins. I'm just gonna slowly walk back to the starting point. So what do you think of Coke's haul? I wasn't really feeling it. I don't think I don't think he on my level of fly. He didn't really seem to have much uh, methodology. He kind of looks like it's gonna add up to be like a super villain from Fraggle Rock. I got this fur coat. We got this super bright color sweater. It's not that straight, but I'm a straight bro. So as long as I wear this, we're good. I found it strange he didn't use all of his time. He left like 40 seconds on the clock. Yeah, that, that was no accident the way he did that. Yeah, he Victor. flexed. He definitely flexed time, the most important aspect in the universe. Super macho, super manly. How do you plan to go out there and uh, dominate? I, I think I'm going to use all my time. OK, uh, smart. That's yeah. a, that's. Uh, I'm going to dress um, well. OK. <laughs> so that's, it. that's probably my priority. Oh, <laughs> totally forgot the boy man thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, you know, my, my strategy to win the day is just to get be as fly as possible, you know, get my fresh and so clean on. Uh, Coke bro kind of weird. He obsessed with being straight. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what he be talking about 80,000% of the time. So, yeah, we, we, we finna do this, though. All right, guys, we got Victor Pope Jr. up. Got two minutes and 30 seconds. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Carnage already. He not slowing down for nobody. Go Pope, go Pope. You got some white pants, some black pants, okay. Okay, hold up. He's in the coats. A red puffy jacket, I think I just saw. Oh, oh he's, he's, he's grinning. There, okay. He's grinning. Oh, fake them. That's the Kansas City Shuffle right there. You look left and you go right. Carpenter jeans. Gotta hit both. Gotta hit both, man. Rips in the jeans, you're a rock star. Come on, Victor. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Got a yellow jacket, that's gonna set it off. Oh, y'all aren't even ready, bro. What do you think about uh, Pope's strategy? He seems to be getting yeah. a lot, a lot of items, a lot of different looks. I can't even let y'all see what I got. I'm gonna just throw this under here. Remember, Victor, you got this, okay? Okay, how much time I got? You got 20 seconds. I don't need my time either. I'm a ghost ride the wheel. Okay. Oh, he's ghost riding. Little push, little push. 10. I got a nine. No groceries on the beginning. Eight, eight, seven, <laughs> no groceries. six, <laughs> what five, <else>? no groceries. <laughs> four, <laughs> three, no two, groceries. one. <laughs> really, mostly the boy being I'm modeling this after is half V5. Uh, half franchise boys. You know, them franchise boys, they used to be like, yup, in my white tee. You know, I want to switch it up. Yup, in my white pants. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just the energy I'm coming with. He got a lot more mm. out of that run. A lot of windbreaker type stuff. It almost seems like he's bracing himself for some kind of apocalyptic situation. Mm. I got this joint. This remind me of B5, which leads me to this, another jacket. One of my favorite members in B5, he used to always dress like he rode a motorcycle but he didn't have one. Then I got the pants just to go with it. You know, I feel like this was kind of them franchise boys because they was real, they was real flashy. So you just think it's a regular coat, but boom, turn around, he got a fox on the back of the hood, the hood trim. You know, they'd be like, what the wild things are, the back of my coat. What I think is going to be the twist of this, on the undercarriage of his grocery cart, was a pair of floral jeans. And I'm, I very, saw I'm very interested to see where that twist takes us. Never seen somebody use the under part of their cart before. Okay, I was trying to keep it discreet. I ain't really want the competition to see. Had a little something in my undercarriage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just I had the floral joints. Had to bring them out, so, you know. Also, he had a twinkle in his eye the whole time. He seemed to be planning something. I'm Victor Pope Jr. I'm iced up. I'm gonna win this. I'm my mama. Coke, straight bro talk aside, do you feel like Victor picked the better outfits? No, that's a very firm no. Round three, the fashion show. Coke to the runway. I feel like I'm not bro Coke anymore. I'm the boy band Coke. 
which is more mellow and easy for teenage girls. It's a leading statement. I like that. R.I.P. Bro Coke. Hello, boy band Coke. I can rap, I can dance, I can sing, I can do anything. So can we see some of your boy band dance moves too, okay? Teenage girls screaming for you. Oh, whoa, oh. Oh my God. Not my daughter. I'm more peaceful, I'm changed. Just want to be famous. Just wanted to survive in this tough business. You're calm, but you want fame. Yeah, I do. You calmly want fame. <laughs> I love the shoes, damn. Oh, do I see wood? Oh, from, from the uh, peanuts. Some Charlie Brown stuff. Really cool. Very nice. Well, thank you so much, Coke. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. I'm still straight. Oh, Victor. Wow. Who is this air traffic controller? A uh, buddy from B5. He used to have the goggles on his head. They used to have the bubble jackets too. Feel it. Do it. That's bubbly. Oh. Yeah, something's yeah. going on in there. Structurally, what's going on inside? Because you do look a little bigger than I remember. This is not quite a bubble jacket, but we're going to get to that later. Uh, how later? Oh, we can get to it right now. OK. What type of member of a boy band would I be if I didn't have a change of wardrobe? <laughs> oh, he's evolving. Is that Kevlar? What is that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. I didn't see the layers coming. My adrenaline just spiked. It's a little something. Wow, wow. The contrast between those and the, the kind of the karate student pants with the elastic around the ankles. A lot of thought went into this. Yes. I'm sensing immature when they went IMX, early B2K. That's what I was in my head too. 106 in Park. That too. TRL. Dim. Kid Choice Award. Not them. Okay. <laughs> but, not to sound like a pedophile, but I was like, man, what's gonna make the 12 year olds go crazy? Cause you know, that's our biggest demographics. Right, 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 right. Now you look ready for an extreme climate with yep. the goggles, with the jackets. Ready for tour. Uh-huh. Just to be dropped out of a helicopter and start popping and locking. These prescription. I saw you getting the eye test over there and I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, they have a variety of departments at this thrift. I'm very impressed with it, but yeah, these prescription. They gave you the glaucoma test and everything. I see the wind in the eye. Mm -hmm. Could you put them on? I want to see how functional they are. Oh, it's two of y'all. <laughs> Couldn't he see before? I thought it was even one person right there, but it's two. That's crazy, yeah. The beauty of prescription. They seem a little foggy underneath. I can't really see uh, even the hint of an eye. My forehead hot. I got the flu. Ah. Oh, I wish we had known that. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's that boy band charm. Victor Pope Jr., thank you very much. But let's talk about Coke first. Coke has uh, kind of the Jim Henson's revenant going on. Mm. I kind of want to see him in a mountain in the Pacific Northwest, just getting punished by Fozzie Bear. Mm. Let's think boy band. Clearly more K-pop influenced. I love the green fur with the whole blue fit. It was cute. It was cute. The platform shoes made himself a little taller, you know what I mean? Right. So I... And the Snoopy secret on the inside. Bringing back some childhood memories, you know, kids love that. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Let's talk about Victor Pope Jr. Now, I was stunned when he unzipped the bubble jacket and had some army shit under there. Oh, I've never seen fuck? anything like that. Somehow he got prescription goggles. With the sticker still on it, he was still able to get prescription. Right. In the beginning, he did look like an air traffic controller who was going to kind of break the fourth wall and treat the people on the plane kindly. Then when he tore that off, that changed everything for me. I love that he took time to study the demographic. You know, he knew that 12-year-old girls were his target. He wasn't ashamed to admit it. No, no, no. What are you thinking, man? Is, is it going to be Victor? Is it going to be Coke? <sighs> this is going to be tough. I'm going to have to give it to Victor Pope Jr. What if we disagreed? I mean, mathematically, mm. we could have a 50-50 split. What if neither of them win? What kind of chaos would ensue if no one wins? The viewer would be left feeling so unsatisfied. True, we don't want that. They're going to neglect their foster bunnies. We don't want that. I mean, shouldn't there be three judges? I'm, I'm just doing the mental math right now. Coke, Victor Pope Jr. to the runway. Guys, you both did a damn fine job. You're both winners in your own right. You were both unbelievable. Appreciate that. But sadly, there has to be one Victor, and that is Victor! <laughs> Stop playing for real. Hey, you did your thing, dog. Yeah, real straight. You was on. You was real straight. Thank you. Yeah. Victor Pope Jr. Uh, you got to pick out an outfit for Coke for his Instagram. Okay, dog. Yeah, <laughs> this is a little some some. You feeling that, dog? Totally feeling it. Yeah, I feel like this yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, real men can do anything. Bro, Coke's back. It's okay. I lost, cause I'm still a real man. Just in the week. I look amazing. Yo, big shout out to Coke, Victor, and Chris for rocking with us today. 
Let us know in the comments what the next episode should be about. Mr. Rogers, Burning Man, job interview, and the boss is your ex or backup singer? I'm perfect, but I don't know shit. Um, still perfect. I got this. <laughs>